right guys welcome to another episode today is halloween and we are fishing a strip pit one that is very secluded and unfished very very low pressure because it has no boat ramp and you gotta drag the canoe down that huge hill over there you can see my van at the top of the hill up there let me zoom got to drag the canoe down that gigantic hill a lot easier to get down not gonna be fun to get back but I'm doing it anyway because that's what hardcore fishermen do and this strip pit consists of walleye crappie and largemouth and red ears uh, we're gonna be fishing primarily for walleye and crappie as a backup Big old red ear. Yeah. All right, guys. I just mentioned there was red ear in here. Second cast. Big old red ear on a Bobby Garland. Actually was throwing for crappie for a few minutes. He's eight inches. That's not bad at all. He's about seven. That's not a bad little red ear for a crappie jig, guys. Man. He's. Decent if the average is like that. Yeah. Hey, it's a good sign, guys. Now we're gonna wish we had worms, maybe. You know. Yeah, so you, you need to bring a worm? Man, we won't lie. Oh no. Yes. Yeah, Yep, large mouth. Alright guys, we've got two of the four kinds in here already. She caught a large mouth on a green banana bobby car. bottom huh yeah small one but hey it's one of the kinds so we know they're in here this water's really clear what so you're vertical jigging she's catching these fish vertical jigging oh you're hung now you got a walleye then or a really big bass that's a bigger fish. Bass. It's a nicer one though. Hey, this is a good lake, guys. We've caught three fish in three minutes. A little bigger. That's weird because I'm not getting a single one doing what I'm doing now. The crankbait ain't working. Well, it's not yet. I haven't thrown it enough to say that yet. Yeah. Well, I just got hit three times. There he is. Got it. Oh, it's definitely bigger than the ones you've been catching. I can tell you right now, by the way, it's fighting. That's not bad. Okay, there is some big bass in here. They're getting bigger now. Alright guys, on the flicker shad, the sherbet, it's pink, orange, green, and white. He's better. A little bit better, about an inch or two. He's probably 11. At least we're catching something. Yeah. And I caught two, counting the red ear. better bass this time. So far I've gotten a red ear and this he might almost go 12 about that. Yeah, guys my camera shut off sometime in the last 
who knows when, 20 minutes. She caught a half decent bass here. So you didn't get the thumbnail in the big one? No, probably not. I don't know how long it's been off. Hold on, it's stuck. It keeps zooming. There we go. Okay. I'm going to change my Found a little notch out of the wind. And it really helped. And this is one deep notch. That anchor went down, I'm going to say 50 foot. This is one deep ass lake. Boy, there's a lot of fish swimming right here too. I can see the ripples. Uh, yep, well we had doubles. We both lost them. A lot of fish here. I've seen all the ripples from them. They're in here because it's out of the wind. A lot more. I knew it was going to spin us around. Now we're far. Now you're far. There's nothing I can do about it except anchor, anchor right on the bank. like largemouth bass is on the menu and that ain't what, what we're after at all just can't avoid them trying for crappie walleye catching bass Why? No. Oh boy, it had me fooled. I seen gold. I really thought it was. Oh boy. The fish that fooled me. Guys, so far this pit is just overrun by 11 inch bass and one red ear. One lone red ear. The only one in the whole lake and we caught it. One throw. Yeah. Got him? Yeah. Yep. I think this is my biggest. This is my biggest. He's 12. Definitely 12, yeah. It's still deep even though it got real narrow. Yeah. It's actually pretty deep for Well, there was a tree right here too. Look, you could, wouldn't have seen it and I would have went right in it. my pliers it's inside the bag. 
Oh yeah. I know, I forgot. Yeah, he's over a pound. better. Oh, I gotta get pliers for this guy, I think. We just went over a tree. Now we're in dangerous snag territory, so you gotta watch where you're throwing it. You gotta watch. I probably caught 15 too. <sighs> yeah, but they need to be about three to five pounds. God! He about got the hooks in my hands again. Damn close. Oh my God. Colorful too. Here on a crankbait. Whoa. Yeah, it is. Wow, guys. 
nice red air on a crankbait. Now that may be worth coming here just to fish for these if they're like this. That's a nice one. My goodness, he's 10. At least nine. Yeah, I'd say nine is kind of odd to get him on a crankbait. I don't think I've ever caught a red ear on a crankbait. Guys, that is one nice red ear right there. Look at that guy. On a crankbait. My goodness. Straighten your tail out, buddy. There you go. You're still not wanting to. There. Not a bad red ear for a crankbait. My goodness. Definitely didn't expect that. Stocked all them walleye in here for nothing. It's impossible to get one. As much as we fished. Guys, we've probably caught about 60 largemouth today in two red ears. The deal is this one one of them days where one kind is biting and not the other or what the deal is. The bass are going absolutely nuts. They're not picking here at all. Because there's no pressure. They'll hit anything.
13. Yeah. <laughs> 